The Bible tells us in Mark 4, verse 35 to 41, On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? So we see here where the disciples were in a storm, and not just any storm, the Bible says, a great windstorm. They were afraid, and in their fear, they questioned Jesus. They asked if he cared for them. How often do we find ourselves in the same position? When we face the storms of life, the turbulent times that leave us afraid and doubtful, do we not question? Do we not ask if God cares about our situation? Well, at least I know I have. But see what happens next. Jesus, our Savior, rose and commanded the storm to be still, and it obeyed. He questioned his disciples, not condemning them, but to teach them, asking them about their faith. So let us draw wisdom from what we are seeing here. Let's understand that no storm is too great for our God. The winds may howl, the sea may roar, but our God is mightier. When we invite him into our boats, into our lives, he will calm our storms. Remember the story of Job in the Old Testament. Job was a man who faced a tremendous storm. He lost his wealth, his children, and his health. In the middle of his storm, his wife told him to curse God and die. His friends accused him of hidden sin. But what did Job do? He held on to his faith. Despite his circumstances, he declared in Job 1 verse 21, The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job rode out his storm, maintaining his faith and integrity, and God came through for him, blessing the latter part of his life more than the former. As we often say, Job got double for his trouble. Are you in a storm right now? Are you facing health issues, financial problems, family disputes, career issues, or even spiritual issues? Remember the words of Psalm 46, verses 1 to 3. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Like the disciples in the boat, call on him. Call on Jesus, like Job in his afflictions. Trust in him, for our God is very near. He is a very present help in trouble. I can't help but reflect on the story of Joseph once more. Think about Joseph sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused, and thrown into prison. He endured a storm that lasted for years. Yet Joseph held on to his faith. He held on to the dream God had given him. He rode out his storm, and when his time came, God lifted him from the prison to the palace, making him a ruler in Egypt, second only to Pharaoh. God came through for Joseph, not in spite of the storm, but through it. There is so much for us to learn from the story of Joseph. It's absolutely inspiring. Also, we could reflect on the story of Daniel, who was thrown into the lion's den because he refused to compromise his worship of God. Daniel was in a literal den of deadly beasts, a storm of fearsome roars. But Daniel was not harmed. God shut the mouths of the lions, and Daniel was preserved. He rode out his storm and emerged unhurt. God will come through for you too. In the words of Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. I want you to hold on to this promise. Let it be the anchor for your soul in the midst of your storm. Remember, the storm does not define you, but how you respond to the storm does. Are you going to let the storm overcome you, or are you going to overcome the storm? With God on your side, you have the power to overcome any storm. 
The Apostle Paul reminds us in Romans 8, verse 37, that in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Often, the purpose of the storm is not to shatter us, but to shape us. It is not to break us, but to build us. It is not to stop us, but to set us up for God's blessing. The storms are not meant to defeat us, but to develop us. It is not meant to victimize us, but to victorize us. The storm that was meant to drown Peter in the sea was the same storm that brought him to a place of deeper faith and a greater revelation of Jesus. God does not promise an absence of storms, but he does promise his presence in the storm. He does not promise that we won't be hit by the waves, but he does promise that we will not be overwhelmed. Isaiah 43 verse 2 says when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. So I encourage you to ride out your storm. Stand firm in your faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. God will come through for you. Remember the words of 2 Corinthians 4, verses 8 to 9. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Remember, the same God that turned back the Red Sea for Moses, shut the lions' mouths for Daniel, preserved the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace, and raised Jesus from the dead, is the same God that is with you in your storm. I encourage you to hold on and persevere. Ride out your storm because God will come through for you. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let's remain firm in the conviction that God is always with us and he will never fail to come through for us, no matter how great the storm. To all those within the sound of my voice, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the Alpha and the Omega, he who was and is and is to come, Lord, we come to you today with hearts that may be heavy with the storms that life often brings. We recognize that even in the midst of the winds and the waves, you are God and you are good. You are the master of the winds the ruler of the waves, and no storm is too great for you. Lord, we thank you for your constant presence in our lives. Even when we can't see past the dark clouds, we trust that you are with us, guiding and comforting us. We thank you that your word promises us that you will never leave us nor forsake us, and that you are our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Father, we bring before you the storms we are facing, each one of us carries different burdens. Some may be battling illness and mental challenges. Some may be dealing with financial problems. Some may be wrestling with broken relationships. Some may be struggling with employment issues. And some may be going through spiritual issues. We present these storms to you, Father. We ask for your divine intervention, and we surrender to your will. Lord, just as Jesus stilled the storm on the Sea of Galilee... We ask that you would bring peace and calm to our situations. But even if the storm does not cease immediately, Lord, help us to keep our eyes fixed on you. Increase our faith, strengthen our spirits, and give us the grace to ride out the storms. Lord, we remember the examples of Job, Joseph, and Daniel. They faced great trials, but they remained steadfast in their faith, and you brought them through. We pray for the same strength and perseverance. Help us to stand firm, holding on to the truth of your word and the hope of your promises. Even in the storm, help us to say what Job said. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We ask for your guidance, Lord. As we navigate the stormy waters, let your word be the lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path. Grant us wisdom to make the right decisions and courage to take the right actions. Remind us that we are not alone, that you are the captain of our ship, and you will steer us safely to shore. Father, we also pray for others who are going through their own storms. May they find comfort and hope in you. May they experience your peace that surpasses all understanding. May they come to know you as their rock and their fortress, their deliverer in whom they can trust. As we look forward to the future, 
We trust that you will come through for us. We hold on to your promise in Romans 8, verse 28, that you work all things together for good for those who love you and are called according to your purpose. Lord, we thank you for the testimony that will come out of these storms. We thank you that one day we will look back and see how you brought us through, how you turned our mourning into dancing, our sorrow into joy. Until that day, we will continue to trust in you to ride out our storm, knowing that you will come through for us. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray, Amen. Now claim this powerful prayer by typing the word Amen in the comment section below. May the Lord bless you abundantly and powerfully. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus, Amen.